Hey everybody, this is Chris with Overclockers Club. Whew, almost killed myself getting this thing up here. Now I'm wondering why I did that because I really didn't need to. Anyway, I got a cool new gaming chair from Andesit. We'll get out of the box, look at all the pieces and parts and get it together. So I got the box open. Now I'll pull the pieces out one by one and we can take a look at them. So there's the seat base. I just took it out of the box here, but I have to say each layer or each uh, item in here is separated with a layer of foam. The bottom being a very thick, that's probably close to three quarters of an inch thick foam. And then everything else is separated with a thinner piece. But they really did a nice job making sure that everything was packaged so that it could take the abuse of shipping. So the first thing I pull out of the box is the seat back. And uh, it's in a nice plastic bag. And uh, oh, that's nice. It has a very nice uh, texture to it and the and a seat logo sort of uh, stitched in there. I like the red stitching and the trim there. And then on each side to attach the seat back, there are some socket head cap screws that are already torqued in there on uh, both sides there. So next is the seat base. And this is a cast aluminum uh, base. I've seen where these uh, these can actually be cast iron. That has a very nice finish to it. Yeah, it's a die cast uh, aluminum base. Painted sort of a uh, matte black. And something else to point out is all these socket head cap screws, these are all metric and they are M8. And uh, something else that sort of stands out now that I look at the underside of the seat, which is not usually a part of the seat that you see or that you would think a manufacturer would put much effort into making it look nice, but this really does look nice. The way they've pulled the material around and tucked it all evenly with the little, uh, looks like little hog ring clips there. And they've done a nice job of keeping it neat. It doesn't look sloppy. It doesn't look like an afterthought at all. Now coming in more closely at the seating area, you can see it has sort of a leather grain to it. Very nice texture all the way around, very consistent. Same red stitching that was on the seat back, and I really like the red and black color combination. And then on the left, this hinge here is just going along for the ride, but uh, it has a nice smooth feel to it, and there's very little side-to-side -side play on that one. But the hinge on the right here, this one is doing all the work. There's a heavy spring that's wound up in here and that's what provides the force when you recline. And this is the lever here that you pull back to recline. It has a very strong uh, feel to it. It snaps right back. It's not loose or flimsy. It doesn't feel like, uh, it doesn't feel plasticky like you feel on some chairs. Very nice. All right, so on to the last part of the chair itself, and that's the pillows. Now I've reviewed some other gaming chairs that also have pillows. Personally, I'm not a real big fan. I've, I've tried to use them and just didn't like the way they felt. There wasn't anything wrong with them, but I always ended up removing them. But I will certainly give these a try and see if uh, I have the same feeling. But these feel really nice. I feel like they have a memory foam in there. These actually feel a little different than the other pillows from some of the other chairs I've looked at. But uh, again, it has the same uh, red stitching, same nice embroidered or stitched in there, uh, and a seat logo. And the straps on the back, these look very nice. There's a Velcro, uh, Velcro strip there. Okay, so you could get in there if you wanted to. I don't know why you'd want to, but you could. And then the other pillow here, uh, this one actually has a zipper. 
if you needed to get in there. Yep, same type of, uh, it's almost like a memory foam. And a strap on the back, but again, it feels very soft. So I'll give them a shot and see what I think. All right, boys and girls, it is always a good idea to review your instructions. No matter how long you've been putting things together, you can always overlook something or miss a step. So it's good to review the instructions and become familiar with all the intimate details. All right, so time to look at what's in the hardware box. There are five casters. They are plastic and they have a nice sporty spoke there and they spin freely and they rotate around a little pivot there nicely. Now five of those. Little hardware bag here with a couple of Allen wrenches and a couple of socket head set screws. Little plastic covers to cover the sides of the seat frame. Little uh, expanding protector for the gas cylinder. Sort of covers it up and makes it look nice. Keeps the dust out. And then the base, this attaches underneath the seat. And uh, that's what your cylinder goes into the socket there, the receiver. And then the lever, of course, is what pushes on the little button, which makes your chair go up and down. Now to make assembly go a little faster, I'm going to cheat and use my driver here. There's a uh, hex driver bit there for those M8 screws. And there it is, all assembled. Took me between 15 and 20 minutes. Sat in it very briefly just to sort of do a quick test fit and it is quite comfortable. So this is the E-Series gaming chair from Andesite. It's available exclusively at Staples in Canada. You can get it in the stores or online. It's $339, which I think is a good value for this chair. Uh, the reclining goes all the way back, plus you can lean back even further. The handle here to bring the chair back up is nice and firm. It's got a good feel to it. I like that. Uh, it did take me a little while to get used to the lumbar and neck pillows. I, I usually don't like those on my gaming chairs. Uh, of course, that's very subjective, but I've gotten used to these and uh, I actually kind of like them. The other thing is the uh, memory foam in the seating areas, uh, particularly. It feels nice and firm, more so than some of my other chairs, but it does have a nice uh, soft feel to it, even though it is firm. Uh, the armrests. Now, you can vertically adjust these independent of each other, but the other thing I kind of notice is these don't have the pivot ability to rotate, uh, and they also don't go uh, forward and back like some of them uh, do have that adjustment. And it took me a little while to get used to that, but now that I've been in this chair for a little while, I don't even, I don't even miss those things. So again, uh, this chair is available in all black, or as you see here, this one is black and red. And you can remove these pillows if you want, or you can slide them up and down and adjust them the way you like. Uh, the casters are nice, free rolling. Uh, assembly this chair, you know, in, in 15, 20 minutes, you can pretty much have the chair uh, up and rolling. So this E-Series gaming chair from Andesite, I love it. So I'm going to give this the Overclockers Club Gold Award. This is Chris with Overclockers Club. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.